About a decade ago, I had returned to Mumbai from a master's degree abroad. And it was a really electrifying period of time. The country was young and coming of age demographically. And in the metros, at least, the streets were full of protests. There were vigils uh, for women's safety. There were pride marches after the recriminalization of homosexuality. And there was also a massive anti-corruption movement. And then the general election rolled in. And uh, as all of us know, the Hindu nationalists came to power with a resounding majority. And many middle class voters felt that they had evolved because they were talking about the development dream and an economic agenda. And others were absolutely shocked that this had been the outcome of all that foment and rage against the system. Um, but in either case, the election transformed our relationship to politics. In the past, whom you voted for didn't determine how you were seen as a friend or a neighbor or a potential date. Uh, and now there was the sense that our political identities had become all encompassing. And uh, India is not alone in this, uh, whether it's the rise of conservative values or the way the internet is shaping identity politics. There have been parallels in several large democracies um, in the decades since the global financial crisis. And so it was really to make sense of this period of reckoning uh, across the world with what it means to be a democracy and what it means to be a democratic citizen that quarter life slowly came into being.